Hey, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. So, this is a question I get probably on a daily basis. Is behavior issues in the home. Um, the very first thing I start with is the basic, the very basic. And what a lot of, uh, I see, I see behaviorists, you know, prescribing medications for dogs that are, um, or hyper or, you know, having behavior issues. So you're giving medication to a dog, human medication to a dog. That's a mind altering medication. What I always ask, what is the food you're feeding? Because that one thing is 100% why your dog is having behavior issues. If you can fix that, you will get yourself a dog that will train wonderfully. And training is 100% needed in every dog. Now, I train German Shepherds, and I can't imagine a German Shepherd not trained. And it's one of the reasons we offer training with all of our dogs. Now, what you want to look for when you're picking up a feed, you know, we all go to the store, we look at these different feeds, and oh my God, they're all pretty packages. Look at that. You know, wow, I like that one. Look at the kibble. Is, there's green and red and brown, and they're so beautiful. That's the game, guys. It's a game. It's a sales pitch. And if that's what you're purchasing, you're purchasing garbage. First off, dyes are not good for your dog. Second, and most crucial, protein. Now you've all heard it. My vet says my dog has allergies, food allergies, so I have to switch to what they're feeding which 99% of the time is complete and utter crap. Protein balance in your dog is crucial. Now, here's, here's what you have to look at. Is your dog at home with you during the day, laying on the floor? I got one laying right here on the floor with me. So their day consists of hanging out with you, maybe going outside for a walk, or you know, if you have a big backyard, they get to run around, chase a ball a little bit. How much protein does that dog need? Because if you walk into your store and you look at a bag and it says performance blend, performance, that's, I've got a performance dog. I have a German Shepherd or high protein. That's got to be good. Wrong. That is the worst thing to feed your dog. Not all dogs. Sorry, performance blend. If you have a performance dog, if you are doing Schutzen or you're, you're doing, you know, IPO and stuff like that, French ring, and your dog is high energy and your dog is being worked and burning those proteins off, yes, high protein is good because they need that protein and they need to be able to burn it off. Now, what happens if you put high protein in a dog that hangs out in your house you end up with a nutcase, okay? I get calls every day. <laughs> it, it happens all the time. You know, they think it's like some big behavior issue that they've caused. Well, you did cause it. You're feeding the wrong food. Now, I feed a basic food. This is what I call a basic, okay? Maybe the owner of the food company doesn't. But I don't buy high-end dog food because 99% of it is, is no different than your middle range dog food. It's just got a brand name on it. Find a middle range. Now what I feed, I feed diamond lamb and rice. I have been feeding it for 15 years. Now I have a lot of food reps that come in here and will bring me bags of dog food. You know, try our food. And it, it's all good food. I mean, I, I, I haven't had anything handed to me that wasn't good food, but it was, protein was off. I got a food in here that, wow, I, I truly liked it. It looked good, it smelled good, you know, the dogs loved it, but it was 35% protein. No way. I don't need my dogs bouncing off the wall. And this is a lot of problem with people when you see your dogs running away. You know, my dog got out of the fence, can you help me find it? 
Well, there's a reason why this happens. You know, there's behavior issues. And maybe this dog's got too much protein in it and it can't control its own actions because it needs to run and burn it off. Protein your dogs down. Now, my diamond lamb and rice is 26% protein. I have found that to be an amazing balance for my shepherds, amazing. Now, if you over protein, you're going to get things like itching and hot spots and stuff like that. And then you end up with skin infections and it, it just starts this whole drama. And you take your dog to the vet. Your vet says, well, they've got food allergies. Bull crap. Protein your dog down. The protein, if they're not burning it off, okay, if your dog is not getting out and burning that protein off every day, and I'm, I'm not talking, you know, take my dog for a walk. A walk for a German Shepherd does absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. You need to protein them down. Now, if you continue to feed high protein and you see those hot spots and everything, and it also rears its nasty little head when it builds up in their system, in their brain. Now, I try to explain to people, you kind of look at your dog and go, man, he's got two chipmunks in that brain. And when that protein builds up, one of them chipmunks flips and starts going backwards on the wheel. So they can't concentrate. Now, you all see it. You've all seen it. Why can't I train my dog? This dog is crazy. This dog can't control itself. This dog in the house is going nuts. Protein down. I highly recommend you protein your dogs down. They don't need high protein if they are not a performance dog. Now, I do a blend of vegetables and I have been doing this for 15 years. This morning, I'm gonna tell you how I do it. So this morning, my dogs, they got cut up potatoes, cut up carrots, they got green beans, um, rice, I even threw some pasta in for bulk, um, they got chopped up apples, and then their blend of turkey meat. That was their morning balance. Oh, and eggs, sorry. Now one boiled egg, one medium-sized boiled egg is 5.5% or 5%, 5 grams of protein. That's nice. That is a natural protein base. Instead of getting from your kibble, which is <laughs> processed crap, you know, I'm not saying don't feed kibble. Please do because it is still a really good balance of vitamins and minerals. But most of it's man-made. So another way to do this is if you're going to continue to feed kibble, okay, always, every single meal, if you feed two cups of kibble, add in one cup of warm water. Because what happens is that kibble goes into their stomach, it adheres to the lining of their stomach, and they have to produce the acids to break that kibble down, that processed food. This is where a lot of dogs end up with diarrhea because they've had to overdo you know, the acids in their stomach. Help them out, add water to their food, throw a cup of water in, warm water, some broth, whatever. And it'll help break that down and digest it easier. Now the vegetable base, it is all boiled. I do a big five gallon pot every morning. It is all boiled down. I throw the meat in, it's all cooked. The vegetables are all soft, very easy to digest. You don't wanna build your dog up and having all this food throughout the day to digest or packing them in where they're, they're getting so much gases in their stomach and this is where you come up with bloat. So take the time to protein your dogs down, try a vegetable blend, Add you, you can add your kibble to it, do a half and half or I do mine in the mornings, they're, they've got their vegetable base with their meat and then in the evening they'll get a, a kibble base too. I've been doing this for almost 20 years now, watching these dogs change. You know, and, and one of the other issues I get all the time is why is my dog so hyper in the house? Why is my dog doing all these bad behaviors in the house? Protein them down. Protein them down for two weeks. 
then watch him change. I get these calls all the time. Another thing to do, do not play with your dog in the house because you have just created that hyperactivity, that behavior issue. In your home is your sanctuary. This is your quiet time. This is your home. Playtime is outside, not inside. When we go outside, my indoor house, my house dog, it's in here with me, Eddie, he goes out and he runs and runs and plays. When he comes back in, it's quiet time. Don't throw a ball in your house. You are creating this monster. By proteining your dog down, you're going to watch these behaviors decrease. You know, a lot of people feed a high performance blend to their dogs, then they throw them in the backyard. And then they wonder why the dog is peeling the siding off the side of your house, or eating your deck, or digging holes all over. Protein is huge. And they do not need high protein unless they are burning every bit of it off. Now, you all see it. You all hear it. My dog has food allergies. It's protein. It's just an easy way to tell you to, to put it to a human. These are protein issues. But your dog, you want them on protein, okay? But I'm not saying cut it all the way back. Put them on a natural base. This is why I do vegetables. Each vegetable, research it, please. There are wonderful web pages on there right now that'll tell you all the values of these different vegetables. And I'm not saying, don't make your dog a vegetarian. I'm saying, add these vegetables. Because what is in your dog food? There's vegetables in your dog food. But usually it's vegetable meals. You know, like peas and... and uh, beets and things like that. Why not feed them natural? It is actually so much cheaper. I spent $32 yesterday, stocked my dogs up on a bunch of vegetables because we're running low right now. We have a big garden, but right now we're low on potatoes. So I stocked my dogs up, $32. And that's gonna last me two weeks. And that's for nine dogs. Now you add in the kibble, you basically cut your food bill in half and you're balancing your dog out, and you're giving them a mind that they can actually think straight. Now see, when it comes to puppies, I used to feed puppy food when I first started. Biggest mistake I ever made. Too much protein, that's like 36 to 38% protein. Not only do you cause them to grow too fast, and now you've created bone issues, but it causes them to not be able to settle and think and train. When I started doing the vegetable base, this is the first, first meal my pups get is a vegetable base meal to teach them to eat, to ha their tummies to handle that food. I put nice boiled vegetables in them. Their stomachs react to it better. I have not ever ended up anymore with the diarrhea explosions as if you're a breeder out there, you've seen it. You know, you got a pup that eats a little too much or a little too high protein. It's an explosion. It's projectile. It's a mess. Start your pups off on a vegetable based meal. You know, throw your turkey in there, your chicken in there. You want them to have meat. They are carnivores, they need meat. But we have to also remember these are animals. They are not human. They are not, I'm going to piss a lot of people off, they are not fur babies. This is an animal. And it needs to eat a nice, balanced food. And you can create that. I mean, kale, kale has the same protein as meat. One egg, one medium egg, 5.5 grams of protein. Now, see, this is all in your dog food, but it's processed. It's garbage. Would you want to eat this every day? Would you want to eat two cups of dried food? It's like eating Cheerios all the time. No, you don't. Stop looking at these packages 
Stop picking your food from grocery stores. I want you to go to a feed store. And I'm not talking the big box stores, okay? I'm not talking the big ones. I'm talking your local feed store where there are cattle feed, horse feed, all feed. These people know what they're talking about. They research this food before it ever enters their feed store. That's why they don't have as much as the box stores. They take in the quality feed. Now we have a local one here close to us. It's Junction City Farm and Garden. And that is where I buy all my feed. Because if I ever have a question about a medication, about anything with my chickens, anything like that, they're the ones I ask because this is the kind of questions they get all the time. And they all have knowledge because I guarantee you every single person that works there right now either has a horse, has cattle, they know it. The big box stores, they hire anyone. And most of them do not have the knowledge. And I have listened to some of them talk to customers and I have been completely shocked at the things they try to sell. So take the time, go to your local feed store, talk to them. Ask them, I have this breed of dog. Do you have any local breeders around here? What do they recommend or what do they feed? That's where you want to go. If you have a question, call a breeder who breeds your type of dog and ask them. Because as a breeder, we all have gone through this roller coaster ride of dog food until we have found the perfect balance. So try the vegetables, boil them up, throw a, throw a fruit in, you know, I, I did apples this morning, a little bit of blueberries, threw the turkey in, and they just gobbled it up. Now, if you find yourself just wanting to do vegetables at first, they may not like it. So what I'd recommend is throw a couple pieces of bacon in there, and the, the vegetables take on the taste of the meat. They will learn to love it. And you want to feed that food that is easily processed. Now, out of all the dogs I have, I have not had hot spots. I have not had the itching. I have not had diarrhea. They are so stable in their food balance. But I also change it up. I like to add in, you know, sometimes I'll do sweet potatoes. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be pumping up their protein on a couple of the males because we're going to be training. Use your protein balance as what your dog's doing. If they are going on a long hike with you, you know, you're heading to the mountains for the weekend, protein them up. They're going to need that. If they're not, if you're hanging out at home, protein them down. Super easy to do. Google search um, vegetables, vegetables for dogs. I mean, it's all there. I want you to do the research and learn. Go through and pick the vegetables that are ready for you in your area. Um, I do a lot of sweet potatoes. We grow potatoes. We do all of that. You know, grow it in your garden. They love carrots. Well, they love raw carrots too. I just don't give them very much. <laughs> you know, as a little treat, they're great. So watch, you know, watch your protein intake. 26% or under is what I highly recommend for a German Shepherd unless they are a working dog. Now, I've even done a couple working dogs that have come in here to uh, have evaluations done. Um, had a couple law enforcement dogs come in here that were having a hard time handling life. They were in training, um, doing like detection work. One of them was a detection dog. He would go in the warehouse to detect and he would just sporadically run. I mean, that's, if they can't control their mind, you're not going to get that kind of work out of them because they're just, they're all over. They're trying to figure life out. We protein that dog down, set it on a good base of dog food, and that dog has succeeded. So protein is huge. So research it, check your values of, um, even my dogs love bananas. Whatever's on sale, you can go to some of these, you know, bulk stores and buy case of bananas and stuff like that for if, well if you have one dog don't buy a case but I buy them by the case and I set them in our cool room and and I process them in their dog food and this has worked out amazing for me I can take any one of my dogs out right now they're completely level-headed and we'll go out and train 
So try that. And this is what I recommend to people before we even start attempting a behavior issue. We want to find out if that behavior issue is something your dog's just done or if something we have caused by the wrong proteins in our food. Now, I hope this makes sense to you, but there are many ways to feed your dog. And a vegetable base has worked out amazing for me. Now, I'm not saying do not just feed your dog vegetables. They need meat. I'm saying split your feedings in half. You know, you can still do kibble, uh, but do like a cup in the morning with a, a lot of vegetables and a cup at night with vegetables because in that dog food is still very quality vitamins, minerals, nutrients. So don't just take them off. But give them the chance to prove to you once you protein them down because I'm telling you 99.9% .9 of the time the problem your dog is having is because of you we're making wrong decisions try it two weeks vegetable base in the morning with a meat um, you can buy a whole chicken for like three dollars three four dollars at the discount stores throw it in a pot boil it up peel the meat off it continue boiling those bones you know those those bone broth is amazing save that bone broth there's your liquid add it to your food I do it every day. Not only am I saving money, but my dogs are doing amazing because of it. So look it up, research it. There are some great vegetables out there for your dogs and you can grow them right in your garden. So you guys, hey, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Protein those babies down and watch them change. I will talk to you guys soon and next Friday we'll have another podcast up and running. Send me your questions. I love these questions. I love getting in depth with their mind. And we will continue to start digging into these dogs' minds. But take this time to start at the basic step. The food you feed is crucial. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you would, like it, share it, subscribe, and we'll be back next week. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much, everybody.